I have a beautiful home to tour with you today. I'm going to show you a great neighborhood in Colorado Springs. But the real reason for this video is that I want to tell you about the buyers of this home and how they're saving hundreds of thousands of dollars by assuming the seller's mortgage. And I'm going to tell you how you can do the exact same thing. Now, assuming a mortgage is a lengthy process. It can be frustrating at times, but the payoffs are so huge. So I have four things you'll need to know if you're considering assuming a mortgage from somebody else. My name's Kevin Wade. I'm a longtime real estate agent in the Colorado Springs area. If you have questions about assumable mortgages or really any real estate related questions, feel free to call or text me. I put my contact information in the comment section. You can schedule a call with me as well. That said, let's go take a look at this neighborhood. We'll take a look at the home and I'll tell you about assumable mortgages. The home we're talking about is in a great neighborhood in Colorado Springs and the neighborhood's called Cordera. If you're looking at homes in the 700,000 to $1.2 million range, you're almost certain to come across homes in this neighborhood. It has a lot of great parks, trails, a really nice rec center. It has a couple of heated pools. And this home's really typical of what you can expect to find in Cordera. As beautiful as the neighborhood is and as amazing as this home is, the real star of this whole situation was the assumable financing that was offered by the seller. Rates today are around six and a half to six and three quarters of a percent, but this seller's mortgage was two and a half percent, which means the buyer taking over this mortgage just gets to inherit those low payments. And they don't have to take out a new loan. At the risk of oversimplifying, basically the buyer swaps their name with the sellers on the current mortgage. The buyer takes over the loan with the exact same rate, the same balance, the same amount of time left on the current loan, meaning these people are starting with a 28 year mortgage instead of a 30 year mortgage. And their payments are so much lower than what they'd be if they'd gotten a new loan. I'll tell you the four things you really need to know if you're considering an assumption. There's more to it than just these four things, but these are really the four big ones you'll wanna, you'll wanna focus on. Well, the first thing you need to know that may seem a little bit like a catch is that you still have to qualify for this loan with the existing lender. You'll have to fill out an application. You'll have to send in your income documentation. They'll verify your employment, just like you were getting a brand new mortgage. So just know that you will have to go through the approval process. The second thing you'll need to know is that over 80% of the homes are bought with a type of financing that doesn't allow it to be assumed. And that's conventional financing. So less than 20% of homes are bought with government backed loans. And that would be FHA and VA in this area and the occasional USDA loan. Those are the type of financing that will allow that loan to be assumed by a new buyer. The third thing you need to know is what usually ends up being the biggest hurdle to assuming somebody else's loan. At closing, you have to bring in the difference between what's owed on the current mortgage and the sale price of the home. So if the seller owes $600,000 and they're selling this home to you for $800,000, you will need to bring $200,000 to closing. It's a lot of money, but in the case of this home, the buyers are saving close to a million dollars in interest on this deal. So if you don't have the money, there may be an opportunity for you to take out a second mortgage and close with that. You'll just want to talk to a lender about that. The fourth thing you need to know is that these assumptions take a while to process. The government says that these loans have to be assumable, but they don't give a firm window on how long it takes this lender to offer that assumption. So some, some deals that are quick will take three to four months to process and others can take up to six months. And I think the verbiage that's required is that it needs to be done in a reasonable time frame. I don't know how six months is reasonable for an assumption. It seems to me like lenders don't want to do assumptions because they make more money by writing new mortgages. In Colorado, it takes, it can take almost as long to assume a mortgage as it does for a bank to foreclose on your home as soon as you stop paying your mortgage, which is pretty wild to me. So just keep that in the back of your mind. It does take a while to process these transactions, but it's really worth it. Just because it takes a while doesn't mean you don't want to consider that. The, the savings are so significant. The home in this video is under contract and it looks like we're going to be closing the first week of June. Our assumption has definitely taken a while, 
been, it's been a smooth process. If you get to the point where you do assume a mortgage from somebody else, or you want to go down that path, you do well to do what we did. And that's to partner with an assumption specialist. They work with all parties to keep everybody on the same page. They contact the buyers and sellers and both agents to make sure that everyone is communicating and everyone knows where we are in the process. It makes everything move a little bit more quickly and keeps everybody connected. As I'm recording this, there are 34 homes on the market that are offering assumable financing. And some of those homes have rates in the twos, so they do sell quickly as soon as they become available. If you want a lower rate than what the market is offering and you don't mind jumping through some hoops to save a mountain of money, let me know. I can help you find those homes as soon as they hit the market. Now, if you found this information at all helpful or you know more about assumable mortgages than you did before, please give this video a like. Maybe even consider subscribing, especially if you're considering making a move in the next 12 to 18 months. My contact information is in the comments section. I really do look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.